Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of Playwright vs Selenium. So today we are going to learn a uh, about the auto weights in Playwright. Okay, so Selenium is good. Selenium has implicit weight, explicit weight. In explicit weight, we have fluent weight as well as the WebDriver weight, which is really good. Okay, but of course, as I say always, there is playwright is like everything is like out of the box so the auto weight all, auto weight also is like out of the box so i'm going to give you a demo let me tell you the scenario so here we have this login once i click on this login i have to give my credential once i click on the login button you can see that right hand side we have this welcome kaushik let code that's a toast message and behind the toast message we have this sign out button so we have to just log in and log out okay now let's see in selenium what it's going to do so as usual the same script i believe you know selenium so i'm not going to explain much but yeah so here once we do the click uh, login we have the uh, sign out click as well and of course we have the implicit weight as well okay implicit weight it will wait for like 10 seconds the problem here here is basically implicit weight will wait for the element to be on the dom but it will not wait for any of the element state element state in the sense like whether it's a clickable or not uh, whether it's in the active scenario active state whether it's displayed present all those scenario implicit weight never checks explicit weight of course it can check okay so if i go and run this now let's see what happens so it entered the credentials logged in and the toast message is there so even though we have like uh the sign out click it didn't click the sign out and if you go here you can see like element click intercepted exception what does it mean if you go to the right you can see like uh it basically it says like hey you have a toast message over there so you can see other element will receive the click so it's basically try to click on the sign out button but on top of that we have this toast notification so it's trying to click but unfortunately as we have the toast component it is not able to click which is very uh un self understandable like so element click intercept in the sense it's trying to click but the click is not happening okay now if i go to the same playwright here we are doing login and then we are doing the sign out okay so if i go and execute this now let's see So login is done and we have the toast message. Watch carefully. Once the toast message is deployed, it just click the sign out and the script successfully run without any single wait, right? So that's the beauty of playwright. So when we do the click, when we call the click function, basically uh, it tries to wait for the action liberty. So it has like a lot of conditions. It go and check all those conditions, then it will do the click action okay so it will check whether the element is displayed element is present element is in the viewport if the element is not in the viewport it will go and do the scroll auto scroll and then it will try to do the interaction that's the beauty of playwright now coming back to the selenium so can't we automate this of course we can automate this we can use the web driver weight let me show you the code as well so here once i logged in i'm going to use the web driver weight and here i'm just waiting for the toast message like uh, invisibility so once the toast message is invisibility then i will just go and click the sound out now let's go and run this let's see of course it's going to work but yeah so what i'm trying to say here as usual like as i always say in my playwright entire tutorial i'll say that i always try to compare with selenium because selenium is of course it's the legend no doubt in that but the new things like this are really cool so you see uh, you saw how you saw now that of course it's got passed right so yeah so we have to write this three lines of code of course we can convert it into a functions we can reuse function all those i accept but it's not like out of the box that is what i meant in this videos and previous video and maybe in upcoming videos as well okay so i hope you now you understand the difference of auto weights in playwright as well as again so that's it for my side. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.